Asylum seekers applying for safe haven at the U.S.-Mexico border will no longer be able to wait in the country while their cases unfold. Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen detailed the plan to Congress Thursday. Once implemented, individuals arriving in or entering the United States from Mexico illegally or without proper documentation may be returned to Mexico for the duration of their immigration proceedings. They will not be able to disappear into the United States. They will have to wait for approval to come into the United States. If they are granted asylum by a U.S. judge, they will be welcomed into America. If they are not, they will be removed to their home countries. Asylum seekers typically wait years on average until their cases are resolved. Many are fitted with ankle monitors and are allowed to work and lay down roots in the U.S. while their cases progress. But now that will not be allowed. Joining me now is New York Times immigration reporter Caitlin Dickerson. Caitlin, thanks so much for being here. Um, first of all, why is the Trump administration pushing this policy, do you think? Is it clear? I think they've tried so many different ways to limit asylum. We've seen this year, and a lot of those have been caught up in federal court, and, and others, I think, just haven't gone quite far enough. I mean, we know the goal, we've talked about this so many times, is to really discourage people from seeking refuge in the United States. And so this is yet another way of doing it, and I would say it's the most ambitious way yet. And does this rule apply to everyone seeking asylum in the U.S.? So it's really still clear. And again, this is just like so many aggressive immigration policies we've seen in the past. You know, I spent the day on the phone with DHS officials who are saying this announcement came by surprise and there are still a lot of details we need to work out and that we don't know about. I think so far it's clear that people who can establish a fear of remaining in Mexico will be led into the United States because, of course, you know, we're, we're doing nothing for them if they're seeking asylum from Mexico. And then, um, you know, but questions remain about, you know, Will children be exempt, for example? Will, will particularly vulnerable groups of other kinds be exempt? And that's still unclear. So the rule was made possible because of a deal struck with Mexico's new president. What is he getting in return from the U.S.? And, and that still remains unclear. And, you know, when we say a deal was struck, even that feels a little bit strong. Mm -hmm. What we've been hearing from uh, authorities in Mexico today is that it was sort of a reluctant acceptance that basically this was a unilateral decision based on the United States that the Mexican government is kind of going along with for now. They've said, we'll give these migrants humanitarian visas, we'll let them apply for work permits, but we still don't know things like where people are going to be housed, what kind of resources will be made available to them. So lots of questions remain from the Mexican side as well. And then with the legal challenges, I mean, is it clear right now whether or not, in fact, this rule will hold up in court? Well, the administration is pointing to a particular section of the Immigration and Nationality Act, which they say allows for this policy, allows for people to be held in a third party country while their immigration cases are heard. But what yeah, I'm sure we'll see immigration defense lawyers argue in court is that this amounts to an effective ban on asylum. Because is someone in a truly desperate situation going to be able to wait one, two years in Mexico? Probably not. And we've seen with asylum bans of other sorts in the past, courts strike those down. So, so that's the question right now is whether it, it really does fall under the law or whether it's sort of using the law to further this cause that we've seen struck down multiple times. So this summer, Mexico's government announced the country's murder rate hit the highest level in two decades. Is it clear how safe even Mexico is as a place for asylum seekers to wait while their cases are being processed? It, it's questionable. I mean, over the weekend, we saw two teenage Honduran boys who were killed in Mexico, and they had been staying at shelters where these asylum seekers are waiting. So you can imagine that advocates are pointing today to those deaths and saying that this new policy is only going to cause more situations like that. So again, I think we really need to hear from Mexican authorities where they plan on, on housing these asylum seekers and what sorts of resources, including protections, are going to be made available to them. Um, I wonder if we could just take a step back for a moment as we draw near to the end of 2018. We are also coming down to the wire over this border wall funding fight. I wonder what you see, Caitlin, is the future sort of direction here regarding the immigration debate. We're looking at this issue now coming down to the very last moments mm -hmm. uh, in Washington, this issue of a border wall. Um, as someone who has covered this issue inside and out, and you have been uh, in constant communication, I know, with federal authorities, but also people involved in helping uh, people who are seeking asylum and migrants, what is it that you are going to be watching for in 2019? 
So I think the wall kind of exists on an island of its own, and so many times we've seen that it doesn't look promising, essentially, that you know that the president is going to get the support of lawmakers that he needs, but he's going to keep pushing, and we'll just have to see. In general, though, you know, we've seen so many changes under this administration to immigration, so many restrictions put in place, and even though a lot of those have been caught up in court, we're still seeing big implications, big impacts. So my big question going into 2018 is, does it work? Excuse me, 2019, ultimately, is does it work? Does it discourage people from coming, and do we see numbers of border crossers go down significantly? Significantly, there's no indication to me from inside the government that any of these efforts are going to slow down. I think they're only going to continue as long as President Trump is in office. Right. No, you'll be watching closely. New York Times immigration reporter Caitlin Dickerson. Caitlin, thanks so much. Thank you.